Hello. I'm sorry, I just... Huh? I was just gonna say, I got my kit, you know, rocket launcher, hunter bolt action, and the uh, tactical assault rifle. And the game has become eerily quiet. <laughs> uh, I just saw one of the cutest things from Jax ever. I was taking my jacket off, and I had like a static sap between my the side of my hand and his nose. And I was worried for a second, because he kind of flinched. He didn't yelp or anything, but he flinched. And immediately... Big old smile on his face and his tail started going crazy and he ran he like jumped in a circle <laughs> I was like what did that tickle and he was like he was like ready to roll over and play dead or something It was so cute So I'm trying to figure out what the max range for the uh, the small is I can't figure it out to save my I life. think it's about 150 to 180 from if I'm if I remember correctly, but that was also during the battle royale so they might have custom built I know you can change like the balancing of weapons a little bit not as much as something like battlefield would allow on custom servers But they might have been able to get that to like lock on from like a hundred of meters away Yeah, cuz I'm literally just sitting on the dome trying to figure out if I can smack their base or not Just firing at random areas mm. But I can't seem to get I can't get seem to get confirmation because I'm too far out to find out if it's actually hitting <laughs> If the missile deloads from the person who shoots it, I think it just literally deloads. But I'm not sure. Shame. So when it comes to dumb fire, you should be able to just hit anything within loading distance, which you know is dynamic to you. So I didn't know this thing had lock on to begin with. That's the whole point. I just been <laughs> dumb firing them this entire time. I mean I know that's mostly what you did. I didn't know you just didn't even know you could lock on to vehicles. Yeah, you can lock on to vehicles. It'll but track I them. I was gonna say, I haven't really found a vehicle to log on to though. The enemies are exclusively going through, like, behind the Mexican town to get around to our bomb. Mm. And not are you north? Yeah. Okay. But they're not going any. I found maybe two people that have gone through the center area in the past, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> it's that dead right now. Like, I think all the enemies are either sitting in their base or all slowly trickling behind the thing to go to our bomb. I can't tell you which. Understandable. At this point, I might as well just jump off of here and go fucking find a helicopter pilot. Or take a plane over there and fucking snipe on the ridge line. Enemies in base? How intriguing. Where are they at? Oh. A feature from Dark Souls 2, like, a, not really a, I guess you could call it a feature, because it was intentional design. The despawn, the permanent despawning of enemies. All the minor enemies in Dark Souls 2 have, like, a maximum spawn limit. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. I would love that in Elden Ring. For it's several reasons. Because that also made it so that oh. in Dark Souls 2, you could also get certain runbacks. You could grind a runback. So by the time you were done grinding it, if you grinded it like 50 times, not only would you have a bunch of levels and now just experience, you might be a little bored, but now you can go to the boss, not only being a little higher level, but you have a clear run back with no enemies left. Mm -hmm. God, I did it a lot on my first run. Invade our towers. I have to be constantly watching every corner when I walk up one of these things. Hmm. If you can get one of the ravens, those those fucking birds, God, they're mm -hmm. so good for recon. They're just they're just big enough that you can shoot them, but they're just small enough that most people don't see them for like the first three or four pings. Even when you're pinging them right in the fucking face, they're like, "What the fuck? What? What? Oh shit!" Some good shit, man. All right, I'm gonna go fight Placid Dissex. I'm gonna go fight Flaccid Sex now. The biggest dragon of them all. Onto friend, I can lock on to friendly tanks too. <laughs> yeah. Obviously yeah. it won't do anything, but... I was gonna say, I don't think it'll do anything, but it's funny to fire it at them. And, you know, Watch them pop off there. the ground. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. I mean, I've been just blank firing this in the general direction of friendlies. Hmm. Lie down. I am making a mistake. 
fuck. I had enough for a level. I have 113,000. Oh, I needed to kill like two more little guys and I would have had enough for a level. And I just went into Placidus sex, which means now it's just going to be stuck in here until I kill him. Yeah, I even have, you know, a pretty good chance of just losing it. It's not that big of a deal. It's only a hundred something thousand, which sounds like a lot, but you know, it, it, a bit of grinding through earlier for Mazala only take me like an hour to get that back. Tops. They still annoying. Just tried to circumvent our second bomb and go for our base bomb. Oh. I thought that was gonna work when we had a plane circling our airspace. Gotta love idiots. Hmm. Especially when they make the game more interesting. Lock on the helicopters, or is it just? They do. I, uh, I believe you can lock on the helicopters, but I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Oh, that was a good one. I didn't even know you could stagger the big boy Placidusax himself, but I did. You just let me lock onto the enemy or the friendly tank. Come on, do it again. What a fire this is! Oh, look at that frost. Oh shit. Shit, that was a lot of damage. Heal, heal, like a lot. Okay, I did it, I did it. I got a lot of healing off. Let's go. Hit him with a couple frost blades before he can take off. Yay, yes. Okay, drink a, drink a, drink a thing, drink a thing. Watch the smoke, watch the smoke. There he is, there he is. Three, two, one, dodge. Ooh, right through his fucking gut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just made the friendly tank jump. Love it. He's confused, dude. He's really confused. Oh, damn. Okay, good news is I turned on a lot of fire defense, so that didn't do shit to me. But get him with a couple of more ice storms. And I might just freeze him again. And that freeze does a nice chunk of damage on him. Shit. Whoa, I, I outraged that, but barely. I just realized why I was able to lock onto them earlier. Wasn't an enemy in the tank? Yeah, I think it was an enemy oh, in the tank. One of the ones that Love when that happens. Base. Love when that happens. Oh no, he's doing the thingy. There he is. There he is. Just... Fuck, the after effect got me. I forgot you had to dodge like as he landed on you. Not right before. Don't disappear again! Okay. <gasps> Did I stagger him? Bro. I think I just first tried Placidus X. I did. There you go. First try. <sighs> yeah. First try Placidus X. Fuck you, Dragon Lord. 280,000. I'm kind of concerned about the, the enemy team. Why? We had actually less people than they do, but we I haven't seen anything but like two of them coming out of their base. Oh. I'm worried.